right? So the next thing that we want to do is we want to see how we can read specific columns or specific rows, right? Right. So so far we have focused on <coughs> okay, right, okay. So far we have focused on reading data from a range of cells. Now let us turn our attention to reading data from particular columns or rows, right? So let us start with read data from particular columns. So we are going to use the same function read underscore Excel sample dot XLS. We want to read data from the third sheet and now we'll specify the range using the cell underscore calls function. Right? Since we want, we want to read the second and third column, we'll mention it like this. Right? So let me run this code. Right? So you can see that it has read all the rows of the second and third column. Right, B and C users and new users, all the rows have been read. So whenever you want to read data of all the rows but of particular columns, then use the cell underscore calls function, and within that you specify the columns from which the data has to be read. Similarly, we can read data for particular rows. Right. Let us say we want to read data from row 1 to row 5. Right? That is the first 5 rows including the column name. Right. So we will use read underscore excel. Sheet is equal to 3. And now in range. I will use a function called cell underscore rows, right? And within this, I am going to specify the first five rows, right? Row one to row five, right? So you can see the first row, four rows of data and the column name, right? So we now know how to read data from Excel spreadsheet. And we also know how to read data from a particular range of cells or particular columns and rows, right? And some of the things that we covered in the previous module with respect to flat or delimited files, uh, like whether how to handle column names, how to skip rows and how to specify the maximum number of uh, rows that need to be read and how to specify the um, data type for each column are applicable here as well right so here if you go to the uh, reference section in the website right you can see that read underscore excel has all those um, arguments as well right call underscore names is set to true so it will by default assume that the column names are present uh, call underscore types again you can use this for uh, specifying the data types of the column uh, you can skip a certain number of rows you can specify the maximum number of uh, rows that must be read right so all these options are here now what I want you to do is I want you to uh, go to the LMS and we have put a bunch of uh, practice questions for you there right so where you will have to read different range of uh, cells and different uh, rows and columns and while you are uh, doing that you'll have to use some of these right so we have we have put a separate uh, Excel spreadsheet there you can use that for practice and you'll have to use some of these arguments when you're when you're working with that particular excel spreadsheet and using the practice question